Okay, everyone, thank you for <clears throat> watching my video and why I'm so disappointed with the Nexus 4 bumper, the official Nexus 4 bumper. Uh, as you can see here, I've got lined up my Nexus 4. The official Nexus 4 bumper here, and then this copycat that you can find online for about half the price. So, uh, this is going to be a pretty quick video, uh, not a whole lot to uh, run down. I mean, it's kind of a, a pretty simple argument. So, as many of you know who've been looking out for the case, uh, this case, the official Nexus 4 bumper that is, has been extra elusive. I'll put, let's put it that way. You know, it hasn't been in stock for several months, just came in stock maybe about a month ago. I uh, have not checked today to see if it's still in stock, but it was really hard to find. And if you were really desperate, you know, people were out there paying about $50, $60 for the case. Uh, add to that the fact that you know, many people had YouTube videos up from when they first purchased the Nexus 4 and when they uh, were one of the lucky ones to get one, uh, the first batches, you know, they, they were out there singing the praises of the bumper. And so you were thinking to yourself, well, people are paying a lot for it, uh, the videos are giving great reviews, and, you know, it looks nice, uh, you know, this must be a really good case. Um, well, sorry to tell some people, but it doesn't quite live up to the hype. But let me first tell you about why it is a great case. So, um... Again, this is a, a great case for a couple of different reasons. It's a couple of different reasons. Um, as you can see, it does look nice, right? It's got that silver trim on it. It's uh, black, and then of course, once you put it, put the foam in, which takes even with one hand, just a, just a couple of seconds. So, uh, as you can see here, I demonstrated this is a great fit for the foam. Um, it's not hard to put on. It is, you know, not something you got to kind of force around your phone. And once it is on there, it blends in very well. It matches the phone pretty much perfectly. And so, you know, uh, to the untrained eye, you can't even tell there's a case on there. But obviously, you've got that bumper on there. And one of the easiest ways to tell that you have the bumper on there is because it does have these raised edges, which is great because uh, people complained about the. Uh, particularly the back of the phone being very slick in their hands and particularly on a table and so uh, with these raised edges and this uh, kind of grippy uh, material that it's made out of if you try to push it it's not going to slide too far um, away from you so you know you don't have to worry about it dropping off of the table accidentally uh, because you've, you just kind of nudged it a little bit um, and so those are, like I said, some of the great things. Uh, the buttons uh, work really well for it. It's really easy to turn the phone off and on, get your volume rocker going. Uh, all that kind of stuff gives you enough space back here to uh, actually charge your uh, phone. Uh, the charging port's well, uh, you know, <clears throat> accessible. It's very accessible. The headphone jack is accessible. Uh, mics, everything. It's it's built very well, and it takes into consideration, you know, all the little ports that you'll need. You know, sometimes you'll buy cases, and the microphone port will be off, and so as you're talking to someone, it's muffled. Um, you know, or the buttons will be hard to press. You know, or kind of cheap, and so that kind of annoys you. This is not going to have that kind of an issue. Um, at all, and so that's that's a good thing. The other good thing is for those out there using screen protectors, in particular Invisa Shields, uh, this fits the phone perfectly. It does not get on there, uh, doesn't fit on there so tight that it starts to peel up the edges of your Invisa Shield. So I did find that problem with another bumper that I purchased, which was from Poetic, which again looked really nice and generally fit the phone well. But once you put your Invisa Shield on there, you had issues with the sides of the Invisa Shield peeling up. So that obviously can be a problem, um, and you want to kind of make sure that your accessories mesh well. And so this is actually uh, a case that will mesh really well uh, with, you know, your screen protector. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, uh, to move on to why I'm really disappointed, um, it's all because of the hype that I told you about. I mean, the buildup was, was insane. Everybody made it seem as if this was such a great uh, case. But when you compare it to what else is on the market and, you know, just also look at what functionality you were going to expect out of the phone. And actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to kind of interrupt myself here. This is actually the Poetic Bumper here. And so uh, I'll kind of add that, talk about that a little bit in a couple of seconds. But, um, again, you really expected uh, with the price people are paying, you know, $50, $60, you know, it couldn't stay in stock. You really expected this was going to be the best case ever. Um, or not even necessarily ever, that's guess is a little bit, you know, hyperbole, but, um, 
at the end of the day, you definitely expect it to be better than the other options that, that were out there. And so, um, as I showed you at the beginning, this is actually a copycat that you can find online for about half the price. And this one is in my favorite color. I mean, now they've got all kinds of colors, you know, blue, red, white, silver, all, I mean, every, any color that you could really want. The crazy part about it is that it is almost an exact copy of the Google uh, official bumper. And, you know, that's a little bit disappointing because they're both just, you know, pretty much rings of plastic. You know, online, it makes it seem as though uh, it's this rubber. And so, again, as it, with a case, you really want to have some protection for your phone. You're expecting that, you know, by buying a case, you're not just making it look pretty, but you're actually going to prevent it from, from cracking. And, and if you drop it, um, and different things of that nature. So if I'm going to get basically the same exact, I mean, literally the same exact material uh, on uh, a, div sorry, a case that's half the price and in my own favorite color, why wouldn't I buy that? I mean, that's, like I said, a little bit disappointing. I would think that I would be paying, you know, twice as much for um, not just an improved look, but also an improved, uh, improved level of protection. And so you can even compare that to this uh, Poetic bumper here, which... Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry, I'm just trying to <coughs> focus in on it here. As you can see, it does look look good. Still got that red with the silver trim. Um, I did tell you that though it it will peel up to size if you're in Visa Shield. But um, the real problem again with this one, or not necessarily with the poetic one, but in comparison to the Google bumper, is that these all provide much pretty much the same amount of protection. And if you can look, they are really thin. It's just a thin rim, rim of plastic, and so. Um, that was, that was pretty disappointing. Um, I don't know, like I said, what their sort of loose de definition of rubber online is, but I wouldn't consider, I wouldn't even call this rubber, um, aside from, you know, being sort of the head of marketing and wanting everybody to buy it. Um, <clears throat> so that was, was a little bit, uh, misleading, a little bit disappointing. Um, this is not necessarily an exact knock on the Google uh, official bumper itself, but just with Google and LG in general planning out accessories for this device, um, there weren't just a lot of options. I mean, I don't know how many of you have Nexus 4s, but if when you're really looking for cases on Amazon, let's say, looking for cases for this phone, it's a little bit more, much more difficult actually than finding something that you like for the S3 or the 1S or the 1X or any of the other top phones, even an iPhone. God forbid I should mention that name on one of my videos, but... Um, you know, it's, it's just been a lot harder to find something. And so then comparing, you know, sorry, taking that into consideration when you have the official case for the phone, not being as, uh, not being so, so superior to the other options out there, you know, for the price, you, you, you know, you get a little bit disappointed. Um, what I really would have loved to see for this phone is a D3O case. I mean, I really love the D3O cases. I think that they kind of do a great job of, matching both style and protection. Uh, never had an issue with any D3O cases so far as protection and I've definitely found several that uh, the styles fit me really well. So um, not to be able to find a D3O case in itself was disappointing but in particular because this one does not provide anywhere near the amount of protection that you would find in a D3O or a, an OtterBox or something like that. It's not even close. Um, so um, you know, like I said, if you tar started doing drop tests with this one, psh, you might as well take it off and drop the phone itself because, again, it's just a piece of plastic. So that was very disappointing for the, the price and, um, you know, the weight. And, you know, you're talking about waiting several months to get it and then you get it and it's just not living up to that hype. Uh, particularly, like I said, you can get pretty much the same exact thing for half the price and you can get the color that you like. Uh, one thing I will say, though, about this uh, copycat is that the buttons aren't as nice. They you know, fit pretty well, but the, the buttons came a little bit faded, and then, you know, what scares me about now the the uh, the official bumper compared to this one is that, again, it's pretty much the same materials, and look, that this one's already cracked, and so I was, I'm already preparing to send this red one back uh, because of that crack that happened only after about a week or two, so if it's the same materials, uh, pretty much, imagine what will happen with your official Google bumper. So I've been pretty careful, or actually extra careful, I should say, with the, the official bumper. But again, I want something that's going to uh, protect my phone very well. Uh, I'll probably put that above it looking nice. Um, so again, this is why I'm pretty disappointed with the bumper. Um, it's not a horrible bumper. It's not a horrible case. But it's certainly not worth you know paying almost $30 after shipping for 
uh, when you can find something like this in the fav your favorite color uh, that's pretty much the same exact uh, casing for it um, but pay only pay in half so uh, if you bother to wait uh, and you, it's out of stock now I didn't check today but if it's out of stock now go ahead and just go with some of these copycats you can just look up uh, you know official Nexus 4 case and pick the color and then uh, you know it should show up in like a Google search or something like that it's obviously not the official case but their packaging wouldn't, you know, have you think so. I mean, this is the casing, sorry, not the casing, the packaging for the uh, the fake case, and it looks pretty much exactly the same um, as the official bumper. So that, again, kind of is a knock on the, the Google um, official bumper. You know, why pay that much more for something where you're going to get, you know, basically the same exact thing for half the price. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, if you have questions, I mean, others out there who have the official bumper, you know, leave your comments too. You know, let me know how you feel. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Whatever. Um, I'm all for it. So uh, press like, continue to share, and, uh, you know, check out some of my other videos as well. All right, take care.